As soon as his master heard the words that his wife spoke to him, this is the way your servant treated me, his anger was kindled, and Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, the place where the king's prisoners were confined, and he was there in the prison. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him steadfast love and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison put Joseph in charge of all the prisoners who were in the prison. Whatever was done there, he was the one who did it. The keeper of the prison paid no attention to anything that was in Joseph's charge because the Lord was with him. And whatever he did, the Lord made it succeed. So Joseph was thrown into prison and through no fault of his own because of Potiphar's wife telling a lie about him. But when he was in prison, it keeps telling us over and over again, again, that the Lord was with him. And so everything he did in prison was a success. You see, Joseph didn't just mope around. He didn't just think that everybody's against me and I can't do anything. No, he, he looked for the good that he could do, and he did it because he knew that the Lord was with him and he trusted the Lord. Well, after a time, the Pharaoh's chief butler and his chief baker were thrown into prison where Joseph was, and the keeper put Joseph in charge of the butler and the baker. Well, one night, both the butler and the baker had dreams, and the next morning, they were looking kind of sad when Joseph came to see them. And he said, why are you so sad? And they said, we've had these dreams, and there's nobody who can interpret them for us. And Joseph said, isn't the Lord the one who knows the interpretation of dreams? Can't the Lord show us these dreams? Tell me the dreams. And so the chief butler proceeded to tell jo Joseph his dream. And it seems that in his dream, he saw a branch. And there were three branches stemming out from the branch. And they blossomed, and the grapes grew, and the grapes ripened on the branch. And then the butler squeezed the grapes into the king's goblet, and he took it to the king to the pharaoh and then um joseph said to him well your dream means that in three days there's three branches so in three days pharaoh is going to lift your head up you'll be out of prison and he is going to reinstate you as his butler you will take his wine to him again well Joseph thought, if you would remind, if you would remember me when you come back to Pharaoh, when Pharaoh, you know, someday when Pharaoh's in a good mood, you know, then remember me and tell Pharaoh about me because I was thrown in here through no fault of my own. Well, the butler had a good outcome of his dream so the baker thought well maybe my dream will be good too so the baker told joseph his dream and he said in my dream i had three baskets on my head and in the top baskets there were all kinds of baked goods and the birds were flying up around my basket and they were eating all the baked goods out of the top basket and Joseph told the baker, he said, in three days, three baskets, in three days, Pharaoh is going to take you out of prison, but he's going to hang you. He's going to have you killed. 
and the birds of the air are going to eat your flesh. Not a good outcome for the baker. Well, three days later, both of those things happened. It was Pharaoh's birthday, and Pharaoh had a big celebration, and he brought the butler and the baker out of prison, and he reinstated the butler, so the butler was in charge of bringing him his wine again, but he hanged the, the baker. So, did the butler remember Joseph? No, he didn't remember Joseph. He forgot all about Joseph. And so, Joseph was in prison for another two years. He was there in that stinking rotten prison and um, he was he had to stand this for two more years before the butler finally remembered him so what happened to cause the butler to remember him well it seems that Pharaoh had a dream Actually, he had two dreams. And in his first dream, he saw seven fat, nice cows. Just really healthy-looking cows. And then he saw seven really skinny, ugly cows. And the skinny, ugly cows ate up the seven fat, good-looking cows And then the skinny cows were just as skinny as they were before. And then Pharaoh woke up and, oh, I wonder what that dream was about. And then he had another dream. He went back to sleep, and this time he dreamed that he saw seven ears of corn growing on one stalk, and the seven ears of corn were plump and they were full ears, great corn. And then seven ears of corn more grew on that stalk, but these ears were blighted. They, were, they didn't have very many kernels on them at all. They were just really bad. And the seven bad ears ate up the seven good ears. And they were still just as bad as they were before. And so Pharaoh woke up, and Pharaoh said, get my magicians, get my wise men. And all of his magicians and his wise men came, and he told them about his dreams, but they didn't know what they meant. And that is when the butler remembered Joseph. And the butler came to to Pharaoh, and he said, To Pharaoh, I remember my faults today. A couple years ago, you threw me into the prison, and you threw the baker into the prison, and we both had dreams. And there was a Hebrew boy there who told us what our dreams meant. And exactly what he said was going to happen is what happened. I was returned to my job as your butler, and the baker you hung. And, and so exactly what he interpreted to us is what happened. So Pharaoh said, well, let's go to the prison and get this Hebrew boy, and we'll see if he knows what my dreams mean. So they cleaned Joseph up, and they brought him in before Pharaoh. And what's going to happen next? Well, you have to wait till tomorrow to find out.